Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the size of operator in C++. So the size of is a keyword, but it's a compile time operator which determines the size in bytes of a variable or a data type. So we can use this size of operator to get the bytes in memory taken by a particular variable or a particular data type. All right. So we can use this size of operator with the data types which we have int, float, char, etc, etc and then the structures which we have learned in the previous tutorials and in the unions and classes which we're gonna learn in the upcoming tutorials and any other user different data types. And to use this size of in your program we need to write size of and then a pair of parentheses and here if we are using the data types then you guys need to use this parenthesis and if you are using a variable with the size of then this parenthesis can be omitted you know it's not necessary if you want you guys can use it or you guys can ignore it so here we're gonna use the size of operator to get the size of our basic data types so I'm gonna use C out and I'm gonna say int and let's add arrow and then it's gonna be size of pair of parentheses and here we need to pass the data type let's say int and let's end this line I'm gonna save this I'm gonna copy this C of statement and uh, paste it next line and we're gonna change this one to short int and again I'm gonna paste it in the next line and we're gonna change this one to care here also we're gonna change this one to care short int and i'm gonna paste it in the next line again and uh, let's say it's gonna be float and here also i'm gonna change this one to float okay that's enough you guys can use it with any data types or any variables so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run so now you guys can see an integer is gonna take four bytes in memory a short int is gonna take two bytes a char is gonna take one byte and float is gonna take four bytes so the next thing is so you guys can use this size of with the variables so just to demonstrate that I'm gonna create a variable in my main function of let's say int so it's gonna be int let's say age and here I'm gonna pass size of age you know it's, it's a variable of type int and I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run you know we got four another thing is uh, we can use the size of with the structures also just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna define a structure student and uh, let's say we have int roll number and care sex okay that's it for the demonstration purpose and uh, copy this and paste it next line and this one to struct student and uh, let me pass student here and if I build and run we get struct students takes 8 bytes so because of some uh, compiler alignments and all those things it's gonna take more memory than uh, we calculate because you know this int is gonna take 4 bytes and this character is gonna take 1 byte but the compiler does something called uh, compiler optimization you know because of that you know our program can be executed faster and that's why some more bytes are inserted so the size of this structure student is 8 bytes. So this is it guys. This is about the size of in C++. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.